I'm Josh, and welcome back to Skyrim. Last time we looked through that storeroom and did a few other minor things. And now, we are going to look at the ruins of Mazolft. Hmm. This might take more than just an episode. Hi. Crystal. Gone. Find Baratus in Oculori. Damn, he died. Mazowski, research log. Uh, new crystal will suit your needs. Uh, Conclave, Council, Oculori. Uh, there's a crystal necessary to activate something called an Oculori. Yoink. I'm guessing Dormer Killbots and Falmer in this case. Ah! Either way, I've got that perk blood from a stone or something like that, so I can now. Uh um river. Hold on. Do I not hold on. Yeah, it's part of my earrings. Good, good. Uh, revert form. Uh, vampire lord form, sorry. I am still interested in Dwemer Cogs, but that can come later. For now, fuck stealth, let's go. Let's just bulldoze this place. Nice thing about blood spells is um, these Dwemer bots are resistant to magic, but I'm not sure if that that counts for blood spells. Not sure. There we go. Some oil. This is nothing. Is that a convector? Yes. Okay. Echo location. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, cog. Yes, please. Two out of ten, I think. I think, anyway. Did that trap actually spring? Yes, it did. It sprung because of the shockwave of my, uh... Where's this go then? Okay, these both seem to lead places, so let's take the lock place first. Yay, more destruction magic. And another cog! That's three. Lovely. I think this is where we're running to Falmer. Huh. More corundum, I guess. That's not a Falmer, that's a Charis. That's their pet. I wonder if I... If I could, uh... <laughs> yep, I grabbed it and I blew it up. That's cool. More dead researchers. Scroll of Mayhem. Moonstone War. Okay, that's not corundum. Still not too useful to me. I've, I've moved beyond the need for Moonstone. That's a trap trigger. Falmer are clever bastards. Uh, 
Big chars, small chars. More chars, guys, and more than I'll ever need, really. Pretty. In its own way. We're under the mountain, definitely, now. Echo location. Yep. Screw stealth. Huh. Telekinesis does not work on the dwarven sphere. Interesting. Would've been funny, though, like I have it flailing around and stuff. Okay, let's unlock this thing. Of course, snapping the... It levels up my lockpicking to snap the uh, lockpick. It's proactive. Learning from your mistake in the most literal sense. And yes, that took a moment for me to formulate properly. <laughs> Worked, though. I formulated it properly. Huh. Drummer copper marks. I like how uh, the drummer coins are called marks, and they're octagonal, like super practical men. Okay. Dwarven spider bot. Gyro. Don't care. Hi. You're tough. Not that tough, though. Having an armor spell on top of your vampire lord power might be a bit overpowered. Just a little bit. Let's see what's down here. Alchemy lab. Interesting. And an un unlocked gates. Yeah, no traps there. Good. We should have brought a lockpick. Oh, wait, I'm a lockpick. Yeah. Reminds me of, of what they said in Avanchenzel. We should have brought a thief. We are thieves. Yeah. The Thieves Guild makes its home in Riften, right near Revanchenzel, so they really should have brought a thief who knew what he was doing. Rather than blundered in and stole the Soul Cube. <sighs> Whatever the drummer had uploaded on that cube, that data cube, was a lot more spicy than what uh, they had in what the the looters had in mind. They were completely subsumed by it. Ring of Sublimation. I yeah, already have that. Do I ever like their spicy knowledge? Spicy, evil, dangerous knowledge. Hey, buddy. I besiege you. There we go. Let's see how many perks I've got. Just one more. Okay, cool. Now I can do this. Power attacks in melee form deal 50% more damage and hit all targets in front of you. And soon they'll have movement speed. Oh, yes. What's down here? Have I been here before? I don't think I have. Oh, boy. Turn my gear. Is that what I needed? No. They're cogs. Not getting any cogs. Okay. Now these things were an annoyance. They trigger when you hit those pressure plates. So you need to not hit the pressure plates. Or just run forward after they have been triggered. Hmm. This one's dead. Uh, I'm guessing someone else did this because it's not been looted yet. Um, yeah. That's the downside to moving along r rather quickly. You still uh, get the opportunity to... Lo okay, here we are. Actual Falmer. Yay! We're, 
We're gonna be fighting Falmer, guys. I don't I hate the Falmer, but you know, I kind of hate the Falmer. I'm getting it out, out of the way now. At least, at least they have. Um, do I want to go sniping them? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> Still vampirizing them is also fun. I'll see what I do. I'll see what I do. It's a lot of dead drummer killbots. Something tells me we will not be facing any more drummer machinery here. Just Falmer. And only Falmer. Only Falmer ball. Just use Falmer ball. Only Falmer ball. Sorry. That's a joke at, um bit of a meme about wizards not using any of their utility spells, only fireball in Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. With wizards being the most utilitarian class. Okay, Torkmelling it's... Yeah. To be fair, fireball is really good. Anyway. Seriously, the thing that's slowing me down the most is all the loot here. Hi. Okay. Hmm. Quick look around. Yes. Oh, look, more Falmer. Come here. There we go. Damn. That's a Zormer corpse yard. They were either studying things or just stashing. I did the... Mages were doing this to study things, or the the Falmer did this just to stash their um, spoils so they wouldn't be resurrected by other Drummer Killbots. This place is empty. There's a seam on the floor, though, that's always worrying. Yeah, this place has literally got nothing in it. Okay, good. Hmm. You're kidding me. It's that simple. <laughs> of course it isn't, but I mean, it's, it's that close to being open. So it is. Ta da! Yay, 78 lockpicking. Okay, that's all of them. On we go. I like the Mr. Burnsian, like like when he's got his arms down, Mr. Burnsian esque. <laughs> I love I love that. I love that effect. You can launch people like the, uh, just as good as Fusroda. Wicked scimitar, yes please. Already had a wicked dagger, but apparently there's scimitars for that as well. Interesting. Another moonstone ore vein? I mean, this might be the, one of the only places where there's moonstone ore. Hmm. I like how my echolocation basically triggers all the traps before I even get there. It's a nice little secondary talent to have. Here, big boy. Where are you? They're coming then. Okay, Charis. Former Skelker. Torch with Thorax. Former Dagger. Nope. Uh. May as well conjure up a gargoyle. They're stronger than any Falmer could be. Yoink. One more. I knew I'd th there were three things and I didn't loot one of them. Whatever. 
Let's see who wins here. Drain some magic out with some blood poison. Well done, my follower. Do I have a flame metronac? No, glad you didn't use that. You're pretty. I like you. You look like Malik Bal. <laughs> uh, hell. I'm going to hell for that one. Yes, I am. Mushrooms, tick, 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 tick. Echo location, yep. There we go. Not seeing any actual hostiles here. I mean, I got a dead mage. Something else that was dead over there. See? Is that another dead mage? So it was. Yeah, sure. I yeah, said so there was a whole, like, Synod Brigade here, and they were all bushwhacked, essentially. Yeah. Hi. Huh, you don't have a mummy. No, nothing here. Okay. Um, revert form. I would like some Dwemer loot. Yes. But first... Hold on a moment. Oh, I'm carrying too much people to run. That makes sense. Hold on a moment. Uh, harvest. That's spell, isn't it? Harvest. That's the one. That's the one. Do your duty. I'm guessing it's mostly the Charis guys and it's so heavy. Yay. Okay, let's do deep storage. Uh. And the drummer cogs, of course. 40. Ah, uh, firewood. I've got plenty of firewood. Only eight of them. Huh, okay, fine. I'll need two more. Let's go find two more. That's a quote from something. Uh, heaviest things. Not lightest, heaviest. Uh, tent with bedroll. Might still have use for that. Charles Kitan drop. Lantern. Yeah, no. Drop the lantern. Cool. We're good. Oh yeah, I already got that stuff from my harvesters. No need for invisibility spells because I am already unseeable by these blind fools. There we go. Do I have a Grand Soul Gem? Yes. Doom Spell Bow. Not empty yet, but may as well be. So, boom. Filled up again. Unlock Door Master. Sure. This'll be a moment. <laughs> We're getting there. Hey, found it. Okay. Say the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. There we are. 
Book. Lunar Lorcon. Okay. Nickels of Mending, Health Regen, not bad. Stand Arm, I think I already have Health Regen. I mean, it's on my armor, so I better have it. Yeah, I killed him. Ah! Lots of chores. And Fulmer. Uh, this is a side room with a Charis in it. That's cute. What a surprise! I am so very horrified. No. He a big boy, though. I'll admit that. And another lock. Fulmer do like having keeping things locked, don't they? The lock boxes. Oh, great. I'm turning into Septimus Cygnus. First, my patron into Hermaeus Mora. Now, this. Also, 79 seems to be the max level for lockpicking at 31. Yep. Where's my F1? There we go. Okay. Two more, right? Yeah. One more. Corporal Cog. Now. Good. Now, unlike the Dwemer, the Charis can see. They can see. Uh, unlike the Fulmer, Dwemer can see, could see pretty well when they were alive. Of course you did. to go further ahead. Ah! There's the hostile there. Okay. It's trapped. Interesting. I could just trigger the trap and then run because that's... wouldn't give me a lockpicking experience. There we are. Cool. Oh yeah, more loot. Last cog. Great. There is a lot of loot here. Elven kind, you move faster. I got a lot of staffs here, so that's gonna weigh me down too. I'm thinking I'm already, yeah, I'm very close to max weight already. That's fine, that's fine. Ah! Oh my, another part of the dungeon. I'm gonna dump some staffs and cogs and ores and ingots into uh, my deep storage. See you in a sec. Welcome to Mzelft Adrome, the Top part of the cliffside dwarven settlement of Mizelft. There we go. I barely saw that one myself, but it worked. Ah! Okay, more hostiles. Pretty much all around, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go vampire and just, just demolish everything. And apparently I do I indeed have ten cogs now for my future quest, so I'm not gonna do much looting. <laughs> Knocked her on her ass. I 
didn't last long, but it lasted long enough. That's himself gone. Hoping the Gloom Lurker has what I'm looking for. Focusing Crystal! Now that's gonna be useful. Oh my, it's a Geode. That's an interesting. Ooh. I like it. That actually gave me shiver, the spikes going inward. Yeah. Don't know why. But I don't dislike it. There's another gate up there. Let's go up here first. Not seeing anything bad. Echolocation. The reaping is ready. Bunch of dead Falmer. Okay. Falmer ear. Yep, Falmer club. More Falmer ears. Uh, that's a Dwarven killbot. Uh, hi. Uh, gor it's gonna take a gargoyle, I think. And a reaping as well. Not just any Centurion, but a Centurion Master. Yeah, I'll keep my uh, Mist Form in, re in reserve. Let's go reap. Damn, he hits hard. I did not just one hit him. No, I didn't. Let's get some health back, huh? That's done with. Okay, Centurion Dynamo Core. Bunch of ebony arrows and a Grand Soul Gem. Let's revert. I think that's all of the major fights in this town. You hear the, the thumping of the... Ooh, Mizulf the Observatory Key, yes please. I think that's the other thing we needed from there. That shovel. <laughs> Yeah, the Falmer found one final drummer killbot, which killed them. Nice. That was the final boss of this place. Chain lightning. Yep. Uh, nothing important there. Just meltdownables. A bunch of meltdownables. And that's cool. A card of demons. What's the time? It's 3 p.m. I could just... I could just... Use my compass, I guess, to sleep once we're done here? Yeah. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Because now we're done here. Another one of those, like, downward sloping arena things. We got one of those when we um, freed Serana from her eternal prison. I'm hoping Serana shall be my next companion as well. My next follower. Oh, yeah, we've still got this place. Ah! Nothing hostile there, at least. I thought we got a key for this place. Eh, whatever. Nothing's free, I guess. Hey! Damn. Okay, we found the, uh... There we are. We found the, uh, turning point, essentially. The place where you can put... Uh, your lockpick, roughly. That's step one, and step two is just finding the exact spot. Okay, there's something alive there. It looks very upright. Very human. Or elven. It looks sufficiently sassy to be an elf, certainly. Um, let's have a look. Helmet of the Grave. We already know this soul energy crap. Let's go. Let's do a quick prayer, because I'll forget otherwise. Yep. Praise be, Lord Ariel, for granting us power. Such power. One moment, I might need to do take the door. Turns out I did not need to take turns out I did not need to take the door. Anyway, let's take this door. G Gavros, is that you? No, he died. I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. Sure. Hi. What the? What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? 
Your friend Gavros is dead. It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them! They've ruined everything. If Gavros yeah. is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. I see. What's this about a crystal? Because I found a crystal. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Okay. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. Okay. Well, you eventually lost. I happen to have found a focusing crystal. Is this what you were looking for? You found... How in the world? Yep. That's it? That's it! I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. Hmm. In fact, who are you, anyway? I'm with the College of Winterhold. You are, are you? Mm -hmm. Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? I don't much like this, I'll tell you. But you saved my skin, so maybe I could overlook the past for now. Yeah. Come on. I'll explain on the way. Sure. No matter what Gavro said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought of using this... this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounced. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the Divine. Okay. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight, and then... I'm not sure. Split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. Right. So this is another one of those starlight focusing orbs. They got a similar one to read an Elder Scroll with. I'm familiar with this kind of technology, and I might be the only person on Mundus to say that. With the possible exception of Yag exception of Yagrum Bagarn, but he's not on Mundus now, is he? Spell tome flames and frostbites. Actually, flames. I haven't read that yet. I know, but it's going to give me an error. But at least it'll be ticked off of that merchant list. What is? Yes. Good. Uh, flames and frostbites. That's the key here. Uh, flames. The man said something about it being too hot or too cold. He'll, he'll explain more, I think, now. Hi. Hmm? I'm looking for the Staff of Magnus. Are you? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I need the crystal to do anything useful, and I don't have it. Okay. What is the crystal for? It was a brilliant idea, really. Mostly mine, though Gavros took the credit. Uh-huh. Secret, though. Official Synod business. Can't talk about it. Okay. Uh huh. Let's install the crystal. <sighs> Here it is. Oh. Magnificent, isn't it? Yeah. It took an incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it. Let's do that. Yes! Whoa, 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 careful. Okay. Bro? Need something? What now? Now the crystal needs to be focused. It was created so far away. We knew that some adjustments would have to be made. Heating and cooling the crystal will cause it to expand or contract, which will change how the light passes through it. Hmm. You'll need to use spells to do that. Being from the college, I assume you know them already. Mm -hmm. There should be a few basic tomes around here somewhere, in case your training is even more substandard than I've heard. Huh. <laughs> Thank you. Let's have a uh -huh. look. So, it's a bit high up. Let's see what I do with what I heat it up. It does nothing. Cooling it helps. A little bit more. A little bit more. That ought to do it. Now, stay that way for a second. Hmm. I'm aware that I'm overrunning on time, but I want to finish this. Uh-huh. 
This will take some doing. <laughs> this is definitely taking some doing. Here we are. There we are. That's one, two to go. Oh, you're kidding me. It has to go the long way around, too. Let's activate them both, then. Oh, that one's already good. <laughs> Last one. It's working! Finally going to pay off. What's this? These results... They're not at all what they should be. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. It should be lit up like the night sky, and this is almost like the sun. Is this some attempt to stall my work? No. See, there's two major points here. Here at Lab Labyrinthian, and here at College of Winterhold. But the entire map is being saturated. It's like taking a photograph of a lamp. There's way too much light and magic coming from these two points. So what is it? What have you done? Did you know what we were attempting? Are you here to make sure your plan worked? That our efforts have been for nothing? No. Well, explain yourself. What are you talking about? You show up here just as our work nears completion. And now I can't get any results from this because of something at your college. Do you think me a fool? Do you think I'm too stupid to make the connection? You've ruined my work! How did you do it? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Either you're lying to me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond yeah. anything I've anticipated. What is it? It's the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? Yeah. Well, I suppose if that means what I think it does. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So, you understand why I need the Staff of Magnus now? Yes, the Staff. Interesting. Crucial. Details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Uh -huh. Have you seen the Orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Okay. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... Yeah. What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. A map. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. Yeah. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. And the other The other? Well, that can only be Labyrinthian. Yeah. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. Sure. So fine. Trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. So the Staff of Magnus is in Labyrinthian? Well, yes. Probably. I mean, yes. Certainly it is. But that doesn't matter now, because I know you're hoarding something even more important at your college. Sure. The Council will be informed of this. They will find out what you're up to. Mm-hmm. I think you've been in here too long. You're crazy. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery won't confuse me. Okay, see ya. I think we're done here. Yes, sir. Alright, we're done here indeed. This episode overran a little bit, but I'm content with that. I'll have to edit it back together after that very short cut, but we're, we're good, we're good. Let's get out of here. To the, uh... Uh... Huh? You have done well thus far, but Hi. trying times are ahead. Mm -hmm. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. Mm -hmm. You will be called on to take swift action. Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. Now, 
I am not exactly going to do that. I'm going to do some vampire stuff first. But I am eventually going to go back to the College of Winterhold. Hey, we have the key. Good. Now we're on the balcony, I think. Yes, we are. Now, knowing Skyrim, there's usually some kind of chest here someplace. Some reward chests. Nah, there isn't. Okay, well, I guess that's then the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next episode where we're going to do Garen Marathi's bidding and find this, uh, fill up uh, the chalice at Redwater Den.